Was it a small roller coaster ride or a large roller coaster ride for last season? Um, it was a roller coaster ride, you know. But the second half of the season was was good. you know we had won twenty of twenty three. I will say this: the start of the year we were six and five. Boy, I was concerned, and but we got hot and we won twenty of twenty three. On top of that, we lost two starters, you know, Donis Thomas and Charles Carmouche. So guys really stuck together. Guys stepped up and we were able to win a lot of games. Talk about that group. You know, it's, when you get in a situation where you could probably lose them in the middle of the season. Yep. But knowing the tradition of the program, some of those, the guys <clears throat> understood where they were and where they needed to go, and what what was going to get them there. And it was hard work every day. You know, Jerry, it was, it was a it was an interesting time period because it can it can switch at any second, and uh, we were um, we were we were you know it, the, our margin of error was slim to none. But you got to give the guys a lot of credit, kind of sticking together. And make it winning plays when it counted. Winning plays, that's what gets you to where you want to be every year. That's to the dance. And not being the team that not get there. That, that also, especially those upperclassmen, like, hey, <clears throat> as long as we've known, Memphis has been going on a regular mm -hmm. basis. Mm -hmm. Well, we've been fortunate the last couple of years. You know, last year we went to the tournament, the year before we went to the tournament. So, um, you know, what we need to do is just we, need to, we want to not only now we just want to get we we need to win some games in the tournament. And um, but we can't get there tomorrow. We have to. It's a process. It's a process through this through the non-conference games and then the league season, which is going to be really tough. And then from there, we've got to be ready to go if we're, if we're fortunate enough to get in the tournament. Talk about the off season. How was it this summer? I thought the summer was good. Guys worked hard with the new rule by the NCAA that allowed um, that allowed us to work with our players, and uh, it was a real positive thing. And uh, uh, I was glad we had the opportunity to do that. Talk about that. Is it, how much has that helped for you all to be in that position now that they not so much loosen the rules, but have allowed you all access? Um, it's helped. I mean, it gave us an opportunity to to be able to. Uh, um, you know, have more contact with our guys for skill instruction and everything else as as we move forward, and uh, which made our guys better. How much is there? A, will that? Well, I'm gonna ask this way: Will that be a short learning curve or a long one with new guys coming in to balance? There's, out? there's always a learning curve for new guys, whether you're a junior college kid or a freshman. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a learning curve, yeah. and um, that's just part of it. So uh, it takes some time, but this year's team, we get some older guys, some upperclassmen, which will help our new guys to come in to be able to help us in that area. The schedule is always strong for non-conference to prepare for conference play. Talk about it. Yeah, no, I believe in scheduling tough and non-conference. Nothing's changed this year. We've got a, we've got a hard, hard non-conference schedule, and that will get us ready for league play. Talk about this league this year. Um, it's in, it'll be in change this year. You know, teams will be leaving, teams, teams will be staying. Exactly. Where does that leave Memphis? We're in Conference USA this year. We don't leave yeah. for the Big East until we don't leave in the Big East until the following year. So um, um, we have a job to do us to do our very best we can this year in Conference USA. And, and uh, we have to, whatever we're going to get, we're going to earn. I think nothing's going to be given to us. Talk about that conference being actually able to be in that situation to still get uh, multiple teams in. You know, it's, it's, it's starting to get a it's, it has a reputation. So it, it's just it's yeah. No, th uh, this league is great. It's totally an underrated league. Um, I I'm a big believer in this league, and uh, there's no question in my mind that this league has very good coaches and very good players. It's just an underrated league. So. I'm constantly promoting the league and telling everyone how great the league is, and I believe that. Uh, one thing I know about you, you know how to promote, you know how to sell, and you work your program and you work your butt hard. Yeah. Uh, last thing, what's going on on campus, uh, um, uh, Memphis campus? You know, you know what's, what's, what's up? What, 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 uh, a lot going on on Memphis campus, a lot of good things in Memphis, a lot of positive, not only on the campus but in the city. Uh, just just stuff, good stuff. And Memphis, what, is, a, Memphis is a great spot. Good people, great food, great music, uh, and I go back to the people. Just amazing people there in Memphis. As charitable as you'll find, uh, we're, my family and I are blessed to be able to be part of that community. And uh, I consider myself—I uh, uh, 
a, a, Memphi, a Memphian now. I, not only am I Houstonian, I'm also a Memphian. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, I've been to some multiple places in my life, but uh, I have dual citizenship, I guess you could, you could say. How's your dad feel about that? Um, <laughs> And my dad loved, you know, we've been, you know, and you know, I've been in Houston a long time, and uh, we love Houston, and uh, my pops love you. I mean, we still got the Houston hoops. My dad still's got the Houston hoops going. You know, I, I kind of made my mark coaching the hoops back That's in the true. day. So at a very young age. Yeah, so I don't forget the roots down there at all. We, we, we love Houston. All right. Uh, with that, and reintroduce yourself and let folks know yeah. who you are, and then we'll I'm, close up. I'm Josh Passner, head coach at the University of Memphis, and uh, always uh, glad to be on, and uh, go Tigers. <coughs> This is Jerry Lee Willie Jr. with the King Size View College Sports Report.